Alright guys, so this is Luigi Rocks 2014 bringing you part 14 of Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, we are still going to continue with New Donk City, Metro Kingdom or whatever. Um, today is still uh, June 22nd that I'm recording this video. Yeah, it's still June 22nd since I've recorded a part 10 of this walkthrough. And yeah, I've already went over there. I was trying to find out what, if there were any more power moons that I could get, but there wasn't really a whole lot that I could find. Or at least that I could think of. Yeah. Alright, well, we'll just keep going around. Hopefully I find something. Yeah, because I'm kind of running out of ideas of where to go. See, I'm pretty sure in this video I do end up just moving on to the next kingdom. I'm not really too sure because I, once again, I'm still not going through checking the recording file. Especially this one, because this video is like, like 29 minutes long and yeah, it was just ridiculous. I wasn't going to waste time looking through the footage and then only to, only to find that I wouldn't have time to actually record the audio. So yeah, I just decided to skip looking at the footage and kind of just blindly figure out what exactly happens in this video. So, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I do end up going into the shop, which is good because it's like, bro, I've built up like quite an amount of, uh, um, quite an amount of coins here. Yeah, I don't think I collected enough to get both of these outfits, which is unfortunate, so. Okay, I guess I do get the stickers instead. Yeah, I guess the outfit wasn't really that important after all. What a pity. Okay, well. Yeah, I could have bought those two outfits. What the heck was I doing? Okay, that's that was rather stupid. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there. What? Yeah, the Mario Maker outfit would have looked nice, but I guess there just was no point in getting that. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what else there was I could get, and yeah, there's not much else over here, so... Oh, I did end up buying these. Yeah, it would have been more useful for the festival, but eh. Oh well. Yeah, I had quite a lot of coins on me. I figured might as well just go ahead and start buying these outfits. I don't know if you get, like, a power moon for collecting all the outfits in these little shops or not. Um. Yeah, why not? Oops. Yeah, I accidentally switched to that. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going here. Can I get in there? Like, really? Like, bro. That was so weird. Couldn't even, like, get in there for some reason. Nope, just... Yep, there we go. What? How did that not work? Like, really, I couldn't... There. Come on. That's more like it. Alright. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't get the Mario Maker outfit. I definitely should have got that, but yeah, I didn't for some reason. Even though it probably wasn't the... Even though it technically isn't the Mario Maker outfit, but whatever. It's definitely similar, though. Whether it is or isn't, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I guess, yep, so I guess that is pretty much it for this kingdom, so... Maybe, maybe not. I, mean, I could do more exploring, but no, I guess not. Let's 
So yeah, pretty much at this point we're now at a little over 100 moon coin, or yeah, power moons at this point. Not moon coins, what am I saying? Snow Kingdom, Seaside Kingdom. Oh yeah, I remember the Snow Kingdom. Definitely got good music there. Seaside Kingdom, I'm not really too sure what the music there was like. But yeah, I selected that one. And I think that was just mostly because I already had a few outfits prepared for this kingdom. Yep, there's the Pauline sticker that I added on there. I got quite a few souvenirs in the process. Yep, so now we're pretty much here in the lake, or seaside kingdom. Bubblane, I think is what it's called. Yeah, I don't know. The glass is half empty. Oh yeah, because you got this little asshole that's drinking up all that crap. Goblet, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll definitely stop him, all right. I think this is where we can get another power moon. Yeah, I don't think I really bothered. I'm pretty sure there is a power moon in there, but I wasn't going to waste time trying to find it. Yeah, there's definitely one up there for sure. Yeah. Yay, pirate Goombas. I mean, they're still technically Goombas, but yeah. I probably should be grabbing that checkpoint if I didn't already. Yeah, I, th I think I ended up doing something really stupid here and not actually getting the checkpoint. Alright, well, let's just see where I go from here. Yep, there's the, the purple coins, which are in the shapes of seashells. Okay, yep, I guess I just decided to leave the Goombas there. For whatever reason, I don't know. Okay, yeah, that didn't do a thing. Like, what the heck? Come on, grab the checkpoint, Mario. There we go. Oh, yeah, there was purple coins over here, too. Yep, and I found some purple coins over here, too. Yeah, it would have made more sweat or would have made more sense to switch to the swimwear, but nope. Didn't do that this time around. Yep, so we'll just take control of the cheap cheap so it's just easier to breathe underwater and not have to worry about filling up on air.
Oh yeah, you can shake the pro controller to attack. I almost yeah, you can actually do that, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I think what I was trying to do was collect some coins here. Oh, it's just a heart. Would have would have been nice if that was a power moon, but yeah, it doesn't look like that's the case. Yeah, try to save some of those hearts in case you actually do get hit, which is what I'm gonna try to do. I guess if that's what I'm am going to do. So I don't know if I'm if I end up searching for coins. Oh yep, purple coins down there. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got this little guy over here. Don't tell me I answered this wrong. No! Really? I... Definitely an idiot. It's... It's Bubble Blaine or... Bubble Blaine or whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Bubble Blaine or some shit. Alright, come here. I want a cheap, cheap... Come here, little cheap cheap. Yep. We're going in for a little dive with the cheap cheap. Oh, which apparently did no good at all, because it's like, well. The Spinexus underwater vault. Yeah, those guys were like even in a. Mark Party 7, but in different appearance on the Pyramid Park board. Alright. Well, let's just keep going. Progressing onwards. Okay, wow. That's just stupid. Yep, definitely grabbing that heart. So we got the west side of the underwater ocean trench or whatever. Um, yeah, I think I thought I saw something, but I didn't. Alright, so let's just keep looking around, figure out where I need to go. Here's more purple coins. Yes, I think for the most part, yeah, I just end up collecting nothing but a series of purple coins. Oh. Yeah, there was one more purple coin that I missed. I don't need a heart, but okay. Yeah, I don't know what the heck I end up doing here. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm not talking. I'm just... I don't know what else really there is to say. I mean, it's like... It's a matter of just trying to go around, figuring out where the heck I need to go. Oh, right. These guys. Now... Yeah, these guys you have to kind of like... Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to make a second attempt. Oh yeah, you can shake the Pro Controller to spray in all directions. And yep, there's the Power Moon. Okay, so now we got this this thing opened up. Nice. Yeah, we got this guy really mad now. So basically, yeah, there are I guess there's four of these little fountains that we have to basically, I wouldn't say like destroy, but we have to like, uh, activate, I guess you could say. Uh, yeah, I should try to save that checkpoint for if I, for when I really need it. No, don't get the heart. Nope, don't want to grab the... Yeah, you have to grab one. I think you have to grab like one of the power moons just to get up there or some crap. Yeah, but I don't think I can just simply ground pound the Bowser symbol. If it's like how it was with the first one. room to yeah try to get those purple coins yeah I'm sorry again I'm sorry I'm not talking I wish there was some stuff to say but there really isn't basically with this little enemy thing you can try to like uh, get rid of like lava and stuff which is good because it's like lava is definitely some really annoying crap Oh, yeah, I think the power moon's in that little... is somewhere underneath the lava, but you gotta, like, destroy it first. Yeah, I can't do nothing about that. Yeah, even the little symbol there says you need a power moon. And, yeah, I don't know why I even attempted that. That was just stupid. And, of course, me being stupid as I am, yeah, I lost my frickin', um, my life hearts. And now... Wow, really? Oh gosh, I think I'm gonna end up dying, aren't I? Well, it can't be helped, I guess. Like, really? I, I landed there despite having the enemy on me? Like, really? Yeah, I did a little cut here because I just started losing patience. Basically, you just spray enough water onto the lava to create, like, an opening, and then there you go. The hot spring seal. And more like the lava spring seal. <sighs> okay, well now it looks more like a hot spring. It's like, bro, if you can add like frickin' lava to it, how the hell do you call it like a frickin' hot spring then? I don't see how any sense that's supposed to make, but yeah. But now it makes more sense. I think one of the... I think what we saw over there on the wall, yeah, I think that's one of the... Oh, yeah, this guy's getting really mad. Yeah, I think one of them was up on that island thing. The glass is half empty. Yep, so that's one of the prime objectives that we'll have to go to. Right after I collect some purple coins. 
And have a little fun by taking control of the cheap cheap. Yep. Gotta go fast. Run real fast. I could go to the Odyssey and switch over to the swimwear, but apparently I was too stupid to do that. Oh, there's a power moon up there. It's funny how I didn't actually end up noticing that. Yeah, I decided to see what was in here first. Yep, a few coins. Alright, yep, let's do a wall kick up there. Yay, more Goombas. Yep. Yeah, I don't know what exactly I was doing here. Oh yeah, that was another power moon that I ended up missing. What is... what? Keep? Is that what it's supposed to say? I'm not even sure what that even means. Yeah, you could take your own screenshot all you want. It's like, I don't really know what the heck that's supposed to be about. Oh, yeah, the little seeds and stuff that we saw. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. And, yep, the little shops are here on these little dory guys or whatever. Oh yes, pirate outfit, that makes more sense. Because we do be hunting for treasure. But the question is, do I get it? I think I do end up changing into it. No? Dude, that actually kind of is fitting for this level too. But alright. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to do the wall kick up there. Okay, yeah, that's one way to do it. Okay. Yep, so we're going to head into this little door here and head into a little mini area thing. Whoa, okay, what am I doing? Yep, just being really stupid right here. Come on, Mario. Alright, yep, let's go into the water for safety. Grab some more. Yep, try to replenish ourselves. Yeah, I could have lowered myself further to get those uh, rings, but I was like, nah, I don't feel like risking it. It ain't worth it. Let's just grab a power moon and... Yep. Treasure chest in the narrow valley. Okay. There has to be a way to get out of here. Yeah, fall down here probably. Oh yeah, not only do we fall down, but yet we get ourselves another power moon. Yeah, let's just... Nice. Fly through the narrow valley. There might have been other power moons that I might have missed, but, you know, those are just going to be the only two that I'm going to get. Nice. Alright, cool. Well, that definitely worked out well. Alright. Oh, there's something up above. 
Oh, what? How do you get those? <laughs> yeah, it's like, even to this day, I'm kind of wondering how you're supposed to get those purple coins. Because I don't even think even throwing Cappy is going to do a whole lot of good. I mean, maybe throwing a cheap cheap and doing like a super high jump could do something? I don't know. Okay, well... Yep, just grab a few of those purple coins. Alright, yep, grab on the cheap cheap so I don't have to keep replenishing air. Coins. Pity that I wasn't able to find the purple coin shop. Oh, I know, there it is. It's just all the way out in the background, which I think I didn't notice it at the time. Yeah, that's where the purple coin shop is. It's kind of interesting how both shops are like on the opposite side of each other. I probably could have made this with the cheap cheap, but nah. We're just gonna dive real deep. Not. Oh, yeah, cause especially because there's a cheap cheap right here that I can grab onto and take control. Yeah, I love the idea of like controlling certain enemies and stuff in this game. That's kind of part of what made me want to play this to begin with. But for me, I didn't want to pay like frickin' $60 for this. Like, damn. I feel like it wasn't really worth it, especially if you couldn't play as Luigi. Cause he's like my main character. That's why I, I that's why I waited till it went down to like forty or some crap or fifty. Okay. Whoa, hold up, what do we got over here? Glowing things. Oh, it's just air. Oh, one of them's a heart. Oh, so that's all it was. Just a heart. Yeah, my camera didn't do so great trying to pick up whatever that was. Alright, yep, so go into the pipe. And I believe this takes us to our next prime objective. Yeah, just grab that checkpoint, because why not? It's not really as if I'll need it, but yeah. The lighthouse seal. I don't know if I had figured out where the fountain is or not, but anyways, that's going to be it for this video, and next time we'll get to the last fountain. Until then, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to join the Discord down below, and I'll see you guys in part 15. Later, guys.